Hola amigos, it's me Clarice back with another video and today I will be singing Electric Love by Borns. This was recommended to me by one of you guys in the comments below. So thank you so much for recommending me this song. And I also have a question for you. Why is my forehead so damn big? Do you like my new setup? It's kind of nice, right? I mean, even though we're in a different room, the setup's kind of nice. Like, hey guys, it's me, Clarice, and today I'm back with another ASMR video. Like, I can do ASMR if I wanted to, you know? But anyways, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let's get on with the video. Okay, when I said let's get on to the video, um, hmm. There is no video. Bye, guys! <laughs> I'm kidding, no. I just want to thank you guys so much for 194 subscribers. It means so much to me. Ever since the strawberry cow video, um, you guys have been so supportive. So thank you so much and know that I appreciate you guys. Okay, now we're going to get on with the video. So um, for the ukulele, the tuning is just standard tuning. So it's just G, C, E, A. And there are four chords you will need for this song. The four chords you will need is A, B minor, D, E, and G flat major. You know, all these score chords skip to this time for the chord variation and the strumming pattern. Okay, so for your first chord, which is A, it's very easy. You're going to go to the G string, or known as your top string. And you're going to go to the second fret. And you're going to take your middle finger, put it on the top, and then take your pointer finger, um, go to the first fret, and put it on the C string, just like that, G, C. And it should look like this and sound like this. It's really pretty. Okay, so the next chord we will be learning is B minor. This one is in between of a bar chord and kind of not, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to take our pointer finger, and we're going to go to the second fret, we're going to bar these three strings, which is C, E, A. So we're going to bar these three. And then we're going to take our ring finger and go to the fourth fret and put it on top of the G string of the fourth fret. It should look like this and sound like this. Next, we're going to learn D. This is like one of my favorite chords because um, we've done these in previous tutorials, but um, we're gonna go to the second fret. All of this is on one fret, so it's the second fret. Take our pointer finger, put it on the G string. Take our middle finger, put it on the C string. Take our ring finger, put it on the E string, like that, and should make this sound. Oh, sorry, this sound. And last, um, I mean not last, but like next is our G flat major. And this one, um, we haven't done this one before. So, we're going to go to our first fret, take our pointer finger, put it on the first fret of the C string, take our middle finger, put it on the second fret of the G string, and take our ring finger and put it on the second fret of the E string. Should look like this and sound like this. So this chord's kind of hard. It's called E. It's not E minor, it's E. And this one has a lot of, like, spread out finger variations but don't worry i got you i helped you and i added a sub chord which is a substitute for that chord so this chord personally for me is kind of hard so i'm going to show you the original way how to do it so we're going to take our pointer finger and put it on the first fret of the g string and then you're going to go to your second fret and take your middle finger and put it on the a string so the bottom string and then we're going to take our pinky finger and skip one fret and go to the fourth fret and go to the C string and it should look like this and sound like this see mine isn't that good um but the substitute so like the alt chord is we're going to go to the second fret take our pointer finger and put it on the A string, then take our last three fingers and we're going to put the middle finger on on the fourth fret of the G string, our ring finger on the fourth fret of the C string, and 
Our pinky finger on the fourth fret of the E string. It should look like this and sound like this. Either way, it sounds the same. It's just what works best for you personally. So um, we're gonna learn the chord variation and strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern for the song, there are two different ones. There's one for the intro, verse, and chorus, and then there's one for the pre-chorus. So first we're gonna learn the one for the intro and the verse. Um, so we're gonna start off with our three main chords, which is A, B minor, and G flat major. So the strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that with our A. Down, down, up, up, down, up, then switch to your B minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, switch to our G flat major. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're going to do that twice, so it's going to sound like this. Up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down. And then we're going to go to our first verse, which is Candy, she's sweet like candy in my veins, baby. I'm dying for another taste. And the strumming pattern for that is the exact same also with the chord variation. It's the same. Just um, when we hit our B minor and our G flat major, we are only doing half of the strumming pattern. So what I mean is this. Um, so we're at our B. Let's start with at the start. So our strumming pattern. Candy. She's sweet. And then we go to like, which is B minor, like candy, which is down, down, up, up, and then switch, down, up. So you're only doing half of the strumming pattern, technically. You're splitting it in half, splitting it in half, so like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. It just sounds better than waiting to put your G flat major at the end. And you do that twice, so it's candy. She's sweet like candy in my veins. Baby, I'm dying for another taste. And then now we're at the pre-chorus. So for the pre-chorus, the strumming pattern is down, chuck, down, chuck down chuck and the way i chuck is i just tap on my ukulele and i put my palm over the string so it stops the noise so like down that's how i chuck that's how i learned how to chuck so for our pre-chorus we use our d a and our e and for our e remember that we can sub it for this or you can do the original way like this whatever works for you and whatever sounds better so we're gonna start on our d chuck like that <laughs> and every night my and then switch her a mine's running around her and then e d go back to our d thunder's getting louder and louder louder e and then this is the chorus, which it's literally the most famous part. Okay, so we're at our last part, which is like the most famous part. It's the chorus, and the chorus goes like, Baby, you're like lining in a bottle. I can't let you go not, I've got it all I need. Yeah, that one. Um, so um, the chord variation, it sounds confusing, but I promise it isn't. It goes A, D, E. A, D, E, G flat major, D, E, A, G flat major, A. So we're gonna start off with um, our A and we're going to do our strumming pattern for A, but when we go from our D chord to our E chord, we're just gonna strum down once. So like this. Baby, you're like, and then one strum, lining in a one strum bottle, and then do it again. I can't let you go down. And then um, we're at our G flat major and D, so we do the same thing again. All I need is to 
be struck by your electric love. Oh, baby, your electric love. Yeah, that's technically how it goes. It's mostly just down, down, up, up, down, up, and one strums. And so. And so you do the same thing for the last chorus and you repeat that twice and that is how you play electric love and I'll play it with you one more time so like we're kind of like a, a band you know no okay you know what that's fine thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much suggest any tutorials or covers you want me to do next week and I love you all so much bye amigos Mwah. have a nice day Thank you.